Donald Trump talks taxes, health care reform, and foreign policy during a one on one interview with CBS News. The president looked back on his first 100 days in office as he's planning for the coming battles on key issues. TV 1055's Brian Connie Bear is live in our newsroom with more. Brian? Well, Jessica, the president says he's keeping his promises and returning power to the American people. But New Yorkers may be in for a surprise when it comes to Trump's new tax plan. And just days after saying he thought being president would be, quote, easier, he's backtracking a bit. It's a tough job, but I've had a lot of tough jobs. I've had things that were tougher. Donald Trump reflecting on the difficulty of being president and his first 100 days in office during a sit down interview with CBS News' John Dickerson on Face the Nation. It's something that I really love, and I think I've done a very good job at it. As the president pushes tax reform on Capitol Hill, Dickerson pressed the Republican on whether he would finally release his own tax returns. You first said that you were under audit and was going to wait till that was done about 14 months ago. That seems like a, a long Long time. When do you think this might happen? Are you asking them? It could happen soon. I don't know. I mean, I think What's, it's, give me I think it's pretty routine, to uh -huh. be honest with you. Uh, but then I'll make a decision. The president's priorities are clear. Almost all of the tax breaks go to the people at the very highest end. Sunday, Senator Chuck Schumer said Trump's tax proposal would cost the average New York City taxpayer an extra $5,500 and $4,300 for people on Long Island by not allowing them to deduct their state and local property or income taxes on their federal returns. The elimination of state and local deductibility is a dagger aimed at the heart of middle class folks throughout New York State. Nothing could be worse for us. But Trump blames Schumer and his allies in Congress for blocking the president's priorities on the economy, health care, immigration, and more. The Democrats have been totally obstructionist. Uh, Chuck Schumer has turned out to be a bad leader. He's a bad leader for the country. President Trump also said his health care reform plan has, quote, evolved since it went down to defeat last month, and he guarantees the revised version will cover patients with pre existing conditions. But he did not say exactly when he expects it to be voted on. Jessica? All right, Brian, thank you. And CBS News will have more of President Trump's interview tomorrow in a special CBS This Morning live from the White House. Tune in beginning at 7 a.m. tomorrow on our sister station, CBS 2.